Welcome to Fishing Sister Wrapped 2023. What a fantastic year it's been. This year, we semi-retired. I went grey, Martin got a grey father Christmas beard, and we spent so much time fishing, we've wasted no time at all with our semi-retirement. We had a month or so down at the York Peninsula, and then we spent six months on the Air Peninsula at Streaky Bay. One of the things you probably don't know about me is that I love a spreadsheet. Some people say it's a sickness. Anyway, I've kept stats of our fishing sessions, where we've been fishing, what we've been catching, how many of different species. So I've got all this amazing data. I just love it. So we thought we'd share with you some of the stats from 2023. We fished at 42 locations, covering York Peninsula, Air Peninsula, Florio Peninsula, and also a few sessions on the Limestone Coast. So we got around a bit this year. How many fish did we catch? Well, 537 fish we caught this year. Some of those were not keepers, but most of those were. We had 96 fishing sessions, and about 25 of those we didn't catch any fish at all. Happens to everybody. On those sessions where we did, we caught 22 different fish species. How's that, 22? The ones that were most common for us were salmon, salmon trout, mullet, and also tommies. So what were our favorite locations to fish in 2023? Well, we went to the Air Peninsula so that we could get around some of those winter salmon that we keep seeing on social media. So we spent some time around Elliston and the beaches that were in the fishing comp. We even entered the fishing comp and ironically, we won the fishing comp. So we spent some time fishing around the key beaches that were in the salmon competition. Mount Camel, Sharinga, Talia, Boiling Down Beach, and also Locks Well. Those were some of the most amazing locations for us fishing around that area. It was a bit challenging because it was cold weather, winter, there was rain and seaweed and wind, but we had an amazing time. However, our number one fishing location would be Back Beach, which was our local at Streaky Bay. It was just five minutes from where we lived. It was just the most magnificent beach, not just for the scenery and the way that it looked, but for how reliable it was for catching salmon in particular. You know, people, the locals call it salmon hole. And we could see why, because if we felt like salmon for dinner, we could just pop down there, grab a couple of salmon, come home. It was just unbelievable so much fun and they were good sized salmon too and we didn't just catch salmon there we caught flathead and mullet and tommies as well but salmon were the main thing that we caught at back beach so that was our number one spot for 2023 so what was the location where we caught the most diverse fish it was tractors beach at air peninsula it was a stunning location as well so many of them were but this one really was spectacular with all of the rock formations there but in one hour, we caught five different species of fish. We caught King George Whiting, Rock Cod, Tommy Ruff, Garfish, and Mullet. Straight off the rocks there. In one hour, it was a beautiful, gentle autumn day, and it was a light wind, and it was a high tide, just around high tide. See, I can tell you all of this because I keep my spreadsheet. <laughs> And probably number two for our favourite location for diverse catches would have been Moore's Boat Ramp at Streaky Bay. That's the place where we've caught so many different kinds of fish. And I remember on one day, Martin pulled in some decent sized salmon. We've caught rock cod, mullet, tommies, even squid straight off the rocks around the boat ramp. Most unexpected catch for 2023 would have to be the leather jacket that I pulled in off Streaky Bay Jetty. I've caught leather jacket before, but never one that big. And it was so vibrant, so pretty, very unexpected. And Martin's most unexpected catch would have to be the massive blackhead that he pulled in off Surfers Beach, which is also very close to Streaky Bay. Most disappointing location for catching fish for me would have to be Lockswell. <laughs> Those of you that have seen the video would know what I'm talking about. This iconic beach, well, it lived up to that, absolutely stunning. But I couldn't catch any fish. So I had all these high expectations of all these amazing salmon that I was going to catch and I caught zero. 
but the, there was a silver lining in that I met Paul Dibbins from Port Pirie and that was lovely to meet him and he was the star of the video so it wasn't that bad was it so what were the highlights of 2023 so many so many to mention but I guess the standouts would be working with Jared when he taught us how to catch shark on Formby Bay in the York Peninsula that was really special also winning the salmon comp the Elliston Australian Salmon Fishing Championship how unexpected just how special was that and finally I would have to say seeing a school of kingfish when we were fishing off Haslam Jetty we've been catching some fish and squidding off the jetty and we'd finished up chucked some of the burley into the water that we'd been using and we were just stunned when this massive school of kingfish I mean seriously large fish just slid by at Haslam just heading for the shore I've never seen a kingfish and I've never seen such a big school of fish right there and they were massive I just was like blown away one day I'm going to catch a kingfish <laughs> so what's coming up for fishing sister in 2024 well we're relocating to southern Adelaide so we'll be out on the beaches all through um, the year down in southern Adelaide so so we want to say thank you to you our supporters it means so much to us to have your feedback to have you watching our videos and to meet you out and about on the beaches so thank you for your comments and your engagement on our videos and also on Facebook I've learned so much listening to your feedback and I've certainly been putting it into practice and thank you to those of you in the fishing sister friends group on Facebook I love this group and hearing your stories and getting to know you on that group if you haven't seen this have a look for it on Facebook fishing sister friends and also don't forget about our web page on our web page you can see all of our videos listed alphabetically and it's easy to find things if you're wanting to watch some of our series on a particular area before you go on holidays and also you can find Fishing Sister limited edition merchandise if you're interested in picking up something from that as well. So that's it, Fishing Sister wrapped 2023. What a fantastic year it's been. I hope yours has been good too. We wish you an absolutely fantastic Christmas and New Year. We really look forward to engaging with you and hearing all your stories in 2024. Merry Christmas.